Okay, I just started a little project on my 2004 Nissan Quest van. Um, I just had to rebuild the entire front end for whatever reason. You know, it, it gave up the ghost. I mean, it was completely shot. But during that process, I had to, you know, do something I really didn't like to do. Is this upper firewall here. And you can see it goes from one side of the van to the other. I had to take it completely out and underneath it you see it's there's a metal plate you have to take that out in order to get to the three nuts on each side that attaches the strut to the vehicle now like I said I've already completed this project but you know, I started this next one. I've got a intake gasket leak, the upper intake. You know, after I put all this stuff together, cranked it up, it didn't run too great to begin with, but it, you know, it sounded like it was, it was worse. And I started, you know, checking around the, the back of it, the front. Now you can hear this intake leak, it just sucks air. But there's only one vacuum line on the back that goes to your brake booster, and that was not it. So, I made a determination, as you can barely see, that's the back part of the upper intake that goes around and goes to your throttle body, which is over here. I believe that's where my leak is. So, I mean, as you can tell, I'll pull back. You know, that's not too fun to reach in there to. You know, you just really don't have much room to work on this stuff. Of course, it's a van. The windshield's actually sitting over the top of the engine so you know I went and started this and I thought well I'll go ahead and make a video of this to show you guys how to take it off it looks like it's a pain in the butt and really it's easy so you know hopefully this will help you guys out so let's get started all right the first thing we're gonna do I've already took this apart part of the way uh, just a couple of steps here you've got the windshield wipers each windshield wiper has like a plastic cap over where it mounts you just take the plate, just get a little thin screwdriver and pry up a little bit on the cap, they'll come off. And what that'll expose is a basically a crimp nut. And you just take the nuts off, put a little, you know, upward force a little bit. Just be careful you don't bust your windshield out or anything. You know, don't go crazy on it. Just give it a little wiggle, a little turn, and the windshield wipers will come loose. And, you know, pretty much, you know, I've already got it done. So I just take it off, put it over here to the side. Take the other one off. Basically, that's the first the two things you're going to have to do. Next thing, you know, this plastic portion here is held on by little, little clips. You can see this one's busted. So it's got one up here. That one's busted too. And you've got one under this plastic here. Got one here, I've already pulled the cap off of it, and you see the hole. But there's some here, there's some more all along this route. What you basically do, you need to pop your clips loose here over on the side. You can see it. Just pop them loose, pop that one back there loose, and then run your finger up under here, all the way around the edge of the windshield where this plastic meets. All the way, just pull gently, pull gently, and she will come loose. So I like. All right, got it loose. <clears throat> of course, this little piece of rubber, these these little tabs go down into that metal part too, and helps it hold on. You know, mine just comes loose. You know, it's probably been taken off several times. I know I took it off one time. So once you get that loose, it'll you can pull this back. And then what you have, before you can take it completely out of the vehicle, <clears throat> you have the windshield wiper washer tube right here. You just take it loose. You know, see it just sits here. Take it loose and you can take this completely out of the vehicle. So now you got two pieces off. But that is going to expose, as you can see, 
the metal plate, ECM, so the metal plate meets the vehicle all the way across. And it's actually, it's a three-piece thing. You have a piece there, and you see it's right here behind the brake fluid reservoir. There's one long piece here. Goes to the other side, and there's another piece. You see where it's... There's one piece, and there's the other. It separates it out. So it's basically two small plates on each side of the vehicle. And all you really have to do to get them out is find these little bolts. They're not hidden. There's no trick to getting them out. You know, they say there's three there, one in the back, there's one here. And there's some back behind this assembly. Now, this windshield wiper uh, motor assembly, you're in luck. It's all one complete unit. You have three bolts. One, two, three. You take those three bolts out, unplug your harness, and, you know, just a little bit of finagling, but it'll come right out of there. It has one com complete unit. You don't have to tear it completely apart piece by piece to get it out of there. So uh, let's go ahead and, and do that, and then we'll proceed. All right, we got the windshield wiper motor assembly out. You see there's the wire. It's got a little grommet here. I should say big grommet. Just take that out. Pull the wire through. Our next thing we want to do is unbolt your brake fluid reservoir. Of course, you see there's bolt there. And a bolt there and a bolt there. Well, I'm just going to take out this one and this one right here, and the assembly will come loose. So let's go ahead and do that. And the next thing we're going to do is going to expose this little bracket here. This is just a stiffener bracket, nothing, you know, major. There's a bolt back here. Here's your, just a simple little wrench, I believe it's 10 millimeter. So if you take that bolt out and that bolt out, take this, and it will get, and you will be able to take it loose and move it over out of your way. Next thing also we're going to do, is just you know something simple, just about everybody can do, is take their air cleaner apart. We're going to take it apart and pull the air cleaner out, along with a little bit part of the tube and the. You know, unhook uh, the mass airflow sensor from it. Go ahead and pull it completely out. Take your uh, air filter completely out. That way you'll have somewhere to stick this over here out of your way so you just got a little bit more room to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, brake fluid reservoir moved and that bracket moved. Uh, let me go ahead and suggest something now before we go any further. It's a real good idea to take the negative terminal off your battery. Now, I've already got mine loose. Just pull it off, put it out of the way. That way, because we're going to be messing with the ECM, you really, really don't want to short the ECM out because then you're probably going to be around, probably out about $1,200 if you do that. Um, so go ahead and take that, that battery negative post loose, and that way you can just, you know, peace of mind, if you short anything, you know, you're screwed. So we've got that loose. Next thing I want to show you before we start bolting this thing is this is the ECM. <clears throat> you know, they didn't take much care of this, this ECM when they put it in the vehicle. I mean, it's, you know, it looks like it could rush through pretty easily. So, you know, part of my process is when I, I'm going to take that completely out. The whole assembly, I'm going to tape up the end of it where the where the connectors go, and I am going to put a protective coating on it. Uh, paint, I thought about uh, some, like, you know, bed liner stuff, but, you know, I'm afraid it may make the uh, ECM overheat. So, but I'm going to definitely spray, you know, primer and some paint on it because I have been reading online, people have had them rust completely through, and then they have to replace the ECM. And when it does that, you know, you could get a short circuit and it could destroy some more of your electronics. But let me point out to you, you know, 
part of the process you're going to go through when you take this thing out. You need to take these wires loose here, you know, just stick your little screwdriver in there and kind of pry back and it'll pop open this one too. You can see, you can see what I'm talking about the corrosion, you know, it's already rusted up. Uh, you also want to uh, take this one back here loose and just stick your screwdriver in that slot, depress it, and it'll come off there. You know, same thing for this one. Uh, go ahead and put your screwdriver in there, pry back, and it will pop open, and you'll be able to move these wires. Uh, you're gonna have to do that if you're gonna if you're gonna mess it all with the the front end. Uh, it's just advisable. You you know, it gives you a little wiggle room. Everybody likes a little wiggle room when they work on the vehicle, and that's that's what it'll do. And allow you to take this harness, this entire harness, and move it out of your way. Uh, to get these out, uh, these are pretty much like watertight seal uh, pl uh, plug-ins to the ECM. Just to press, you can see, press that button, slide it back, and it pretty much ejects it for you out of the ECM. You may have to do a little wiggling. Just push it over from one side to the other and don't force it. I mean, if you're having to force it, you need to wiggle a little bit more. But it just comes unplugged. You see, it's... You know, a couple hundred uh, connector or pins in there. Same thing with the other side. Press it, pull back a little bit, wiggle, pull back some more, wiggle, keep going. There we go. There's the other side. We got both sides loose. See, you know, it's loose, but it's not out of your way. That's why we're going to take uh, these little brackets loose. Also, while you're at it, uh, <coughs> you see you've got these wire looms holding on, and it's going up under here to this. Now, you don't necessarily have to unplug that. You know, I did when I took it out the last time, and it, it's it's a weird plug. Uh, it's got a U-shaped, you know, wire in there that you kind of have to get out before you can unplug it. Uh, and then it's a pain in the butt to get back in there. Uh, also, you have this here. You don't have to unhook it, and you say, "Well, I pulled it loose and it broke already." But uh, the other side is still in there. If you look, it's just like a push pin connector. You just pull it loose and move it down out of your way. These two, you know, the back side I kind of got on it with uh, a pair of pliers. You know, kind of. Or, or, or uh, needle nose pliers, kind of depress the, the the two flexible sides of the pin, all the while pulling, you know, gently pushing, and those will come out too. Another thing, you're gonna have to take these wires here loose. Uh, there's probably ground for the ECM and no telling what else. Uh, take them loose, move them out of your way, put that bolt back in there, just screw it back in. We want to make sure we keep that particular bolt where it is because it you know it could serve an extra purpose you know being treated like it is so we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll come back okay it's something i forgot to mention you know i told you about this little assembly down here in this cliff that's a pain in the butt uh or the connectors pain in the butt to get on and off well it's held on up here you can see very well but these little two little clips all you basically do is get in there with like a screwdriver or something of the sort i mean they're just slide on clips they slide that way and it latches but to unlock them you're gonna have to bend this up and push it you know, without cutting your finger open that's how it comes off you got two of them once you get those two off that assembly is loose to be able you know you can move it around and then just see it just drop down you know see that's a whole lot easier to deal with there and get it out of your way all right i've got the harness released from the upper firewall you see you know it's loose you can tuck it out you know around out of the way you know majority of the stuff's moved you know, if you want to, to get this completely out of the way, you know, like I said, you can see that clip. See the silver there? It's just a U-shape, you know, like 
a little paper clip metal that they shoved in there and that's that's all that holds that thing on there once you take it out it'll pop right out we're gonna do that we'll go ahead and take it out the next thing look down here you've got two connectors you get this gray one and below it you get a black one now yet you're gonna have to unhook that but you see, this is a pain in the butt. It's, you know, it's crammed in there. So what we're going to do is that, that bolt there, right here. We're going to take that bolt loose. And it's going to free this up so you get the rest of this loose. And then we'll be able to access these releases for these connectors down here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to take the metal part of the firewall out okay I've got the two connectors loose the gray and the black one you see there's the bracket just one bolt holds it on moved it back you really have to you know with your finger if it's strong enough or get your little tool just press there and press there and give it a little tug and they will come right out now you see our wiring harness is all loose, you know, also disconnected the connector with the with the paper clip like uh, thing on it. And we've got it all back here out of the way. One side note, the windshield washer fluid tube, that's the end of it, and it lays right there. Of course the other end goes up to the little squirters that squirts it on your windshield. Uh, the side note, the important part is, you know, when you put all this back together uh, to save yourself a lot of time, um, you see it'll run up under here, but there's a little slot for it to go through. It's hard to see it. There's a little slot. It runs through that slot and then goes where it needs to go up under here so you'll have washer fluid uh, you can spray in your windshield. If you forget that, you're going to be going back through some of this again uh, just to get it hooked up because you're going to have to pull it loose and uh, ride it correctly. But uh, we've got pretty much everything loose. Uh, the final part of getting this out of here, you know, it's, it's, it's probably the easiest. Uh, you, all you have is bolts. Uh, starting on this side of the vehicle, there's one, there's two, three. Uh, there's one back here. Of course, there's one here. You got one right back there. You got one here. And you got the two right there. So, pretty much, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be slightly attached to the vehicle after you get the bolts out because uh, you know this this foam type insulation they use you know once it gets hot cold hot cold it's sticky but uh, uh, like I said you can see now it's 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 actual three piece design one big piece and two two smaller pieces make up this whole thing thank God they did this and it's not one complete piece so you would be really having trouble uh, getting it out of here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all these bolts out. You know, like I said, there's nothing really to this. And once I get them out, I will show you how to take the assembly out. All right, I've got all the bolts out. And I wanted to make another note, uh, you know, for future reference. Uh, remember there's a bolt right here. And that's something I ran into when I reassembled is this stuff is you know you can see the hole that they drilled is huge well you know it's not really a perfect fit and I had to do a little finagling and forcing but I got that screw back in there so I'll just be prepared for that you know you can always take it out and make it a little bit bigger hole but uh, I just want to just want to point that out that was the only one I had trouble with now we got this whole assembly loose no, it's dark, you know, I'm just working off of uh, one fluorescent light here. I'm not blessed with the shop, but, you know, this can be done outside. Another note, you know, you notice there's some water here. Yes, it is raining. It's raining where I'm at. Uh, we're getting, you know, some of the remnants of the storm that's up northeast of us. But uh, just want to mention, you know, it is wet. you got the ECM open need to make care make sure you do not get water 
in there and if you stop your work for any amount of time or if it's outside you need to make sure this stuff is covered up water and electronics do not mix anybody in the you know in the automotive field and you know any electrician tell you water and electricity don't mix it loves to cross over water so y'all just be careful uh, like I said, we're going to pull this out, and I've already had mine out. Remember that. Uh, yours will still be real stiff. Mine is not. You know, the the several years of of melting and gluing this this stuff, you know, one part to the other. And, you know, I've already busted it loose. So basically, just you know, pull the big part up, and there's the small part on. on the driver's side of the vehicle. Same thing for the other side, you see. That's all it is, three piece. Y'all's will be stuck together. I mean you can see this little this little foamy, you know, insulation stuff. Acts like glue, just you know, kinda wiggle it, pull on it, shove it, you know, it'll it'll come loose. So, you know, we've got this whole section here. This section is now out of the vehicle. You see, I'm gonna dump the water out of it. And now you have your two little pieces left. See, I'm just gonna pull it out. Now there's where the water runs out of it. Make sure when you put it back in, you get that in there. Otherwise, you're gonna have water running in other places you don't want it running. And here's the other little piece. Same thing. So the water channel into the into the body. See it? Alright, now we got it completely disassembled. <clears throat> now look here. You have room to work. Look at all that room. You know, you can get to what you need to get to. See, you know, you can tell I've already done the struts. Simple to get to, otherwise you, you know, you want to take a shortcut way, you know, to me it's not really a shortcut, you know, you're scratching your knuckles, busting your knuckles, cutting your fingers up, it's not really worth it, this is a, you know, simple process, it looks like it's, it's really in depth and it's not, you know, I'm, you know, I, I think I'm pretty good mechanic, you know, I, I can do, you know, pretty much what I need to on my vehicles, within reason, You know, I just put the front end on this thing, and then, I mean, that, this right here is harder than putting the front end on it. So that's how you get this, uh, the upper firewall out of a 2004 Nissan Quest. I appreciate you watching.